My name's Ben Hendrickson and we are here at the Myers Falls Hydroelectric Project which is located on the Colville River just outside of Kettle Falls, Washington. The Myers Falls Hydroelectric Project has been owned and operated by our family since 1998. Myers Falls is very historically significant because it's the oldest continuously operated water power site west of the Mississippi. And there's been a wheel turning at this site for almost 200 years. Uh, the first water wheel, it was installed here in 1826 by the Hudson Bay Company. And this water wheel powered a grist mill which was used to mill wheat, um, oats and barley, uh, and also corn that was grown in the area by local farmers. In 1890 a sawmill was built just west of the grist mill and powered by the same water wheel as the grist mill. Logs were hauled into the site and sawn into lumber and then used to construct buildings and structures in the area. In 1890, near the site of the sawmill, um, they found a 60-foot thick vein of clay. And uh, they, they used this clay to manufacture bricks on site. Um, I imagine a lot of those bricks are, are still uh, found to this day in buildings uh, in the area. So hydroelectric power has been produced at Myers Falls since 1903, when the Northwestern Light and Power Company installed the first generator at the site. Later, the project was sold to Stevens County Power and Light Company. After that, to the Washington Water Power Company, which is, which is now Avista. In 1998, the project was sold to our family's company, uh, which is Hydro Technology Systems. There's two powerhouses uh, at the site, which, which house four horizontal Francis turbines that are used to generate electricity. Uh, the original 1903 powerhouse uh, which is on the other side of the river, on the south side of the river, is gone and it was replaced by, by the 1910 powerhouse which is there to this day. As the demand for electricity in the area increased in the early 1900s, another powerhouse was built and we call that the 1915 powerhouse which is located on the north side of the river. So the 1915 powerhouse, it utilizes a, a diversion dam to divert water out of the river and into a canal which leads, leads to a big pipe called a penstock. Uh, the water flows through this uh, 48 inch diameter steel riveted penstock and into the turbines where it's used to spin synchronous generators and produce electricity. And the water drops a total of 124 feet and after the water flows through the turbines it flows right back into the river and continues its path downstream. So our family operates and maintains this project as efficiently as possible. Almost all of the maintenance and operations here are taken care of uh, by us. Replacement parts that are needed, are, they're not common, off-the-shelf items. So when something's worn out or, or broken, we repair or manufacture these parts in our shop and then install them here on site. When you consider all of the different ways that electricity is generated today, the electricity produced here at Myers Falls is definitely one of the lowest impact available. It's a run a river project, which means it operates with the natural river flow. We have a series of waterfalls, the largest being 60 feet tall, which act as a natural fish barrier. So fish migration's never been an issue here. So unlike some technologies, we produce a very predictable supply of electricity. We are contributing to the base uh, load energy needs of people 24 hours a day and 365 days a year. Our facilities produce enough power to power approximately 1,000 homes. Some of the cleanest electricity in the world is produced right here at the Myers Falls Hydroelectric Project using what I would say is the Northwest's premier clean renewable energy resource and that's water. Clean renewable energy has been produced here at Myers Falls for close to 200 years using water power. We look forward to keeping this hydroelectric project running so that we can continue to contribute to the, the clean renewable energy needs uh, for many more years to come.